2001, you've seen close encounters of the third kind. Maybe you've even seen The Empire Strikes Back. But chances are you haven't seen The Wizard of Speed and Time. That's the name of an ingenious short subject that caused quite a stir several years ago and led to a feature film of the same name. Its theatrical run was brief, but now it's out on video. So I'd like to introduce you to The Wizard of Speed and Time and its creator, Mike Jitlov. That's Mike Jitlov, the star and filmmaker in his low-budget, high-energy feature film. And this is how that feature was promoted in its coming attractions trailer. Made on the same film stock as Roger Rabbit and Star Wars. Filmed around the world in a special process that is technically unexplainable. It's the kind of movie you would make if you didn't have anything better to do. Years ago, I had a feature film I wanted to make that would have taken many millions of dollars and I was still an unknown in Hollywood. So we made a test of it, showed it on a Disney special about a man who could move very fast. And a producer in Hollywood found my film uh, script, got a million dollars to make a feature, and we were off and running making a feature film about a small band of Hollywood filmmakers trying to survive in Hollywood. In fact, the whole movie is full of self-reference. And as you watch Jitlov and his friends go through the ordeal of putting a feature film project together, dealing with a shady producer, holding a garage sale to raise money, and pricing a major studio soundstage, you get the feeling that most of it is based on real-life experience. This is our economy stage. As you can see, it's centrally located to all major bus and train stations. I did everything to make this movie, and it was all kind of tough after a while. I, I worked over 130 jobs in this film. 130 different jobs? Uh -huh, I counted them. Uh, <laughs> I produced, wrote, directed, acted in, composed music, did all the special effects and editing, all the way down to uh, Key Schlepp. While we were making the film, I was going out, uh, making signs, creating props, going out and finding locations at midnight, rewriting the script, and bang, you're into makeup, and, and here comes the army up the street at 6 o'clock in the morning. And we were working out of my mother's house in our garage. Literally, this was a very expensive home movie. But it was the only way we could get that film made and do it well. For every second of movie film, there are 24 pictures. And we're making each of those pictures one at a time. Come on, who do you think you're trying to con? Where's all your special effects equipment and computers? Right over there. Then there's the additional challenge, depicted in the film, of convincing a producer that a special effects whiz can also make a real live movie. At which point, Jitlov, in this movie, shows off some of his razzle-dazzle. Okay, here we go. I am the wizard of speed and time. The world of film is where I shine. I've got magic to let you see just where you were and want to be. The Wizard of Speed and Time is a little movie project that's had an uphill fight to get made and get seen. But now it's out on video, so more people than ever will have that chance. And they'll get to see the movie's one bona fide name, Philip Michael Thomas, who filmed these scenes before he got famous on Miami Vice. As for Jitlov, there's no telling what might come next, especially from a filmmaker who can work this kind of magic. So, Mike, are you, in fact, the Wizard of Speed and Time? 